All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, Pook, with the very first video for 2016. Woo, yeah. I'm in my car once again, just because it's a uh, a nice place to record. It helps me uh, gather my thoughts and stuff like that. Plus, I I don't know. I kind of feel weird recording uh, in the house, you know, in my parents' house because you know they're home and they may knock on the door and you know, mess it up or something like that. So, uh, I decided to record out here in my car, um, back home in Salina, Ohio for the time being, you know, visiting folks for the holidays. Uh, I'm going to be leaving uh, in a couple days to go back up to Portage, Michigan, where I'm going to make a, uh, a, a proper uh, update video for the month and uh, stuff like that. But I thought I'd just uh, check in with you guys, let you know I'm alive and well. And, uh, show off my new, uh, Dragon Ball Z t shirt Well, you can only see the top part, because I can only, like, I can't... <laughs> this is how high it goes, so you can't see the rest of it. But, it's my new shirt I got for Christmas. So, yeah. <clears throat> and I also got a, a bunch of, uh, coffee mugs. And, uh, a, a uh, my very first, uh, Keurig coffee machine. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of, all the hippy-dippy types are like, Oh, K-Cups are ruining the world, uh... Whatever. I love it. I don't like making a whole pot of coffee if it's just me. You know, I just prefer to have, like, you know, put the little thing in there, set it, forget it. So, works for me. So, <laughs> anyway. Um, so, I'm real excited to uh, get that all set up once I uh, get back home. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> as well as a bunch of other little uh, random things for the house, you know. Not, nothing too exciting, you know. I got light. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, nothing too spectacular, but it's a lot of stuff that I need for uh, my new place that I didn't have in Japan. So, you know, that's cool. But anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I just wanted to uh, make this video to uh, check in with you guys. I've really been holding in this, uh, this announcement for a long time. And I wanted to... Uh, say it on uh, my proper monthly update video and I am going to reiterate it on the, in that video too in case you guys missed this one um, but I'm gonna say it here first for uh, 2016 I've made it my year year resolution my New Year's resolution to um, change some things up on my channel and stuff like that now you guys know that you know I'm gonna be uh, kicking off my let's play channel uh, that's Andy Cade I'm going to be kicking that off very soon, uh, once I get back home, get some games loaded up, do some recording sessions, things like that. Um, it's not going to be pretty at first, I realize that, because I don't have the uh, the conversational uh, patterns for a Let's Play down yet. I, I, I went back and looked at uh, some of my uh, first Let's Play attempts, the first two games that I did, which were uh, Honey Pop and uh, Phantom Breakers Battlegrounds, both great games by the way. Um, <clears throat> so I looked at them, kind of dissected, uh, what I liked and what I didn't like, and what I liked was, uh, surprisingly the setup that I had, the recording setup, the audio and the video was very good. So I was really, uh, really, uh, pleased with how the uh, recording setup was, and it, it was, like, the jankiest of recording setups, <laughs> like, like, seriously, this setup was pretty damn janky, but it ended up working out pretty well, so, um, I'm hoping to, in the future, maybe invest in some better equipment so I can streamline the process a bit better, but for now, this process works just fine, so, yeah, that's cool, but, uh, I do have a couple games lined up for my, uh, relaunching of Andy Cade, and, uh, uh, I want them to be a surprise, you know, I'll, I'll wait for the actual release because I don't want to hype it up and then do something else and everybody's like, well, Andy, I thought you were going to do the one game. What happened, man? <laughs> you know, I don't want anything like that. But, um, <clears throat> so basically, like, the theme of Andy Cade as far as, like, what games I'll Let's Play is uh, mostly games that I grew up with or, like, retro-style games, you know, like, anime-style games, maybe, like, you know... Japan centric style games, you know, not not necessarily RPGs per se, even though that's like the bread and butter of Japanese gaming right now, if you don't include like visual novels or something like that. 
which aren't really games per se, it's just, eh, I don't know, it's a fine line. <laughs> but basically it's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of retro games, anime games, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, and I'll throw in a couple popular games in there too if, like, I like them. I don't want to just, like, do a game just because it's popular. I mean, it's like, it's like me doing Minecraft or something like that, you know. Like, I don't hate Minecraft, I just... It... <sighs> I don't know, it just, it really doesn't appeal that much to me anymore. It's just, it's very, I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't know. I might do it, but uh, I have my doubts. So, <laughs> especially with all the uh, the scandals going on at the time of this recording. You know, there's a big uh, pedophilia scandal going about in the Minecraft community. So, uh, I think I'll stay away from the whole Minecraft scene, at least until all that stuff dies down. And then, you know, maybe pick it back up, I don't know. But in any event, um, <clears throat> the big announcement, you know, about six minutes in or so, um, for 2016, in addition to uh, taking my Let's Play channel a bit more seriously, having a more consistent schedule and uh, doing stuff like that, is that I'm going to be moving my main channel. Now, you got, as you guys know, I've been on my uh, Andy San channel, which is where you're viewing this at right now. Um, I've been at my Andy San channel for going on 10 years now. It'll be officially 10 years, uh, March 1st of 2016. So um, <clears throat> I just wanted to make this announcement now so that way you guys can shift over to the channel because it's, you know, like I said, I've been doing this for almost 10 years now. So I have a lot of backlog and so the plan is for me to move all of my videos from my Andy San channel over to my uh, The Andy San channel. So um, originally I wanted to do like a, like a start from scratch. So I set aside um, a separate channel. You know, as like a channel where basically like I would, you know, pick a lot of my uh, videos and stuff like that. You know, I would I would exclude like you know, random AMVs or something like that that I uploaded, and, uh, like, certain update videos, just because I didn't want people to get confused about an update, when in reality the update was done in, like, 2009 or something, you know. People were like, dude, what's going on? Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, there's, like, a shit ton of seagulls out there just getting at this trash can. But anyway, sorry, ADD moment. <laughs> anyway, so, um, the plan is to move over to my The Andy San channel. That's youtube.com slash The Andy Uh, it was originally my secondary channel and I would upload like concerts and stuff like that to it. But, um, I've decided to, uh, <clears throat> move my main channel over to it. Um, not only for like branding consistency because, you know, if you look up just Andy San, you'll, you'll see a lot of, uh, videos for, uh, the porn star Andy Sandemus. She still beats me in search en engine results, to a point. But, uh, yeah, you'll see a lot of her videos, and so, like, people might get confused, or something like that. And I originally wanted my channel to start with Andy, because, like, it would show up in the search results first, I think. At least in the beginning it would. Because a lot of the, uh, how the subscriber thing would go, at least in the beginning of YouTube, was that it would go, for, like, from A to Z, pretty much, so... You know, and I don't like putting numbers in my channel name. I mean, that works for some people. But for me, I just, I don't like doing that. So I figured just make it all names. So that way it would be less confusing to people. And stuff like that. And, uh, so I decided to go with the Andy Son. Because there's a lot of Andy Sons online. You know, it's a fairly common username. It's very easy to remember. You know, I remember going to, uh... <clears throat> A lot of the uh, the YouTube gatherings, a lot of like the Hanami, uh, the summer party up in Japan, and uh, people who didn't know me or my channel would ask me, "Hey, do you do the uh, the YouTube thing, or you on YouTube, you on Twitter, or something like that?" And I would say, "Yeah, man, I'm you know youtubecom slash Andy San, you know Andy Y S A N, pretty easy to remember." And then like some of my other friends, I'm not going to name names, <laughs> don't want to incriminate people, but there were some of my friends who had uh, longer, more complex names. And, you know, when they would tell them the people, they would just kind of look at them like, how do you spell, how long, is, how do you spell that? So it's a what now? It just, it doesn't 
roll off the tongue and it's not short and sweet like Andy-san. Easy. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I decided to go with that name, and I've had that name for friggin' years now. I think, if I remember right, the very first iteration of that name was on a message board I used to frequent back in the day called the shiz.org. It was the uh, the mini bosses message board forum dealio back in the uh, the early days of me on the internet. So we're talking like uh, shoot, probably like 2004, 2005 ish. So it was a little before uh, I started up on YouTube, but uh, yeah. So that's where the name came from because it asked for a, a forum name, and I'm like, because uh, I, I wanted to incorporate my own name. Because, you know, I don't want, like, <laughs> if I were to call myself, like, you know, I don't know, White Tiger 45822 or something stupid like that, you know, then people, you know, if I would meet them in person, they'd be like, hey, White Tiger, what's up, dude? And, you know, I, I may or may not respond, and it, it sounds kind of silly, you know. So at least if I had, like, Andy-san, you know, it's got my name in it, so, I mean, some people may come up to me on the streets and be like, hey, Andy-san, or something like that, and I'd be cool with that, but, you know, some people be like, hey, Andy, what's up? So, you know, that's one of the reasons why I want to incorporate my own name into it, you know, so that way people know me, know me by name versus handle, which kind of blend together a bit better when you have your own name in it, so, at least, that's my own opinion, if you have a, uh, a username that you're comfortable with, like a handle or something like that, and it works for you, then great. But, you know, for me, that's just uh, what works for me. So, anyway. So, yeah, that's the big announcement. I'm going to be moving all of my uh, old andy -san videos uh, over to my The andy -san channel. Um, it's going to take a very long time because I have... Shoot. Uh, last time I checked, I have... I think maybe 960 to 980, so like almost a thousand videos on my main channel alone. Because, you know, like I said, I've been doing this for almost 10 years now. You know, and I like to emphasize that because it makes me sound professional. <laughs> oh, you've been YouTubing for 10 years. Wow. <laughs> a real veteran of the game, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. Um, so that's the basic plan is over the next couple months, I'm going to be moving over to my The Andy San channel. Um... Once everything is all uh, moved over, once I get all the you know tag information and all that kind of crap from the videos all set up and everything, uh, then I'll make the whole thing, uh, make all the videos public. So I'm not going to hook up my Twitter account to it just yet until after I make all the videos public. So you might see like a, an explosion of videos one day during the launch day. So yeah. But then once that happens, then I'm going to be posting... Uh, from there, mostly. And, uh, in regards to, like, that channel and my Let's Play channel, so the idea is that I'm gonna make my The Andy San channel my personal channel. So, um, we're gonna be talking about, like, vlogs, you know, life in series, stuff like that. But it's basically just gonna be my personal channel. I don't know, it's, it's hard to, like, call a channel a personal channel and then, like, call another one, like, a working channel. But basically, like, the personal channel is gonna be more variety you know, it's not going to have a certain theme per se, rather, or like, uh, it's not going to have a certain focus. It's mostly just going to be, you know, what's going on in my life, which I guess is a focus, if you think about it. But you, got, you guys know what I mean, right? So um, it's basically just going to focus on me, my life, what's going on with me. <laughs> I'm going to put a going to put some channel updates and monthly updates and all that kind of stuff on there. So if you guys want to check all that stuff out, you can subscribe to that channel. And if you guys just want to check out the Let's Play stuff or whatever, then you can subscribe to the Andy K channel. So that's the idea behind the, the whole two channels thing. Two channels! <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of keep them a little separate. So if you guys, you know, don't want to see the Let's Play stuff, you know, you can go to the other, other channel or vice versa, you know, just keep them separated. <laughs> and uh, plus I already have uh, my AdSense account uh, already linked to the two channels. Now um, AdSense was disabled on my uh, original andy -san channel, so which is another reason why I'm making the migration over to my The andy -san channel, because it's already 
set up for that account and I already have uh, a small subscriber base with it so it's not gonna be anything super new which is another reason why I decided to just migrate to that channel versus starting a whole new channel because with the whole new channel like I know that there are some people who are subscribed to my channel who don't necessarily like watch every video that I make or anything like that and you know it's fine it's whatever at least with uh, the other channel like I started the other channel I think uh, in like 2008 2009 something like that so it's been around a long time too so it definitely has you know some clout in the community even though it was just a secondary channel but you know in any event it's not going to be like super unfamiliar territory and it's going to you know keep in uh, consistency with you know my branding of the Andy Son versus just Andy Son and plus you know I already have AdSense integrated into both accounts which I know you guys don't like to hear me talk about money because you know talking about money is like the cardinal sin on YouTube only like marketing people and sales people do it and it's just kind of yeah but you know I I pride myself on being as honest as I can with you guys you know so there are some things I can't talk about because you know it's a little too personal or you know especially if it involves other other people you know unless I have their consent I don't like talking about it but you know aside from from that I like to pride myself on being honest with you guys I got my AdSense account set up for both those channels, but uh, I had problems with my original channel because of uh, my original AdSense account being disabled due to uh, invalid click activity, <laughs> which I'm not going to get into uh, what happened, you know, it is what it is, but uh, it did happen. Uh, there weren't uh, the safeguards that there are now. You couldn't really contest it like you could now, or like you can now. And so they made their, Google made their decision back in 2005, 2006. This was before YouTube even started is when I got the AdSense account. So maybe like a year or two before, so around that time. So one thing led to another and uh, got banned from that AdSense account. So yeah. Um, and I've tried to appeal it so many times because I figured, like, maybe there's, like, a statute of limitations or something like that. Like, you know, hey, I was a dumb 18, 19-year-old kid. Didn't really know what I was doing. I'm, like, 30 years old now. So, you know, can we let bygones be bygones? Come on, Google. <laughs> you know, but they're just like, your account was disabled due to invalid click activity. There's nothing we can do. So, yeah. <laughs> Shogunai, I guess, right? Can't be helped. But, uh, so yeah, that's basically, uh, the gist of this video. And once again, I'm kind of rambling on with these vlogs. And, uh, I apologize for the, the vlogs being so long. But, uh, you know, I got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, I'm not as quick on my feet like I used to when I was cranking these videos out, you know, consistently. Because of, like, the holidays and transitioning over to civilian life and all that kind of stuff you know i'm not as quick on my feet or you know as far as making videos go so you know i don't you know have the <laughs> so okay and that <laughs> exhibit a right there so anyway with that said uh, i want to thank you guys for uh, being subscribed to this channel for as long as you have um I apologize if there's any inconvenience in the move. Um, it's, like I said, it's definitely not going to happen overnight. It's going to take a lot of time for me to export all those videos over to my other channel, get them all ready with like the tags and the description and all that kind of stuff. And then once that's done, you know, once I get all that stuff done, then um, we'll do like a, a launch date, I guess get that all set up and then uh i'll officially be making vlogs and all that kind of stuff over there and i'll be sure to put up like an announcement video on my andy san channel as well so that way you know if you're a little late to the party or whatever you're wondering like why isn't andy san making videos anymore what's going on dude <laughs> then uh you can uh check that out as well so that way you go to the page and it's that video so yeah <laughs> 
so um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hopefully 2016 will be a much improved year for me on YouTube, year for me in my personal life as well. Um, as you guys know, I'm going to be uh, starting up school, um, not this coming week, but the following week. So I start on the uh, 11th of January. I had to think about that for a sec. But I start on the 11th of January, my classes and all that kind of stuff. And uh, really nervous because, uh, you know, I'm a little out of practice when it comes to college. You know, I haven't, haven't actually uh, been to like a college class since uh, 2007. So, you know, nine years now, <laughs> let's say. Um, and I've just been out of the whole education environment for a long time. And uh, I'm really nervous about, you know, getting myself in the right, uh, like, frame of mind and stuff like that for college. You know, because, yeah, you know, I'm a little older, a little wiser, so I think... You know, I'll do a lot better this time around versus the other times because I, I was like too distracted. You know, I let a lot of things get to me that shouldn't have got to me. You know, I should have, you know, dealt with that. There's a lot of personal stuff. You know, I don't want to get into it like 22 minutes in <laughs> this video. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff that um, just kind of held me back, you know, in college. And it was it was mostly me and a little bit of... The college itself that I went to, there was a, you know, just, you know, they weren't working with me to keep me going. And, uh, you know, <laughs> conversely, because they weren't working with me, it affected me and my schoolwork and just my mental state at that time. Like, you know, I, every once in a while I go back on my blog and look at a lot of posts that I wrote from that time period. And it just seems like I was in such a completely different frame of mind, you know, I was, you know, speaking, I tried to speak from experience, but I didn't have experience, if that makes any sense, so a lot of what I was writing, you know, I was trying to come off as somebody who's been there, done that, but I wasn't there, and I hadn't done that, so, you know, it, to me, it came off a bit disingenuous, you know, me, the 30-year-old me, looking back on it, you know, at what the 20 to 21 year old me was writing about, you know, somebody who now has some experience looking at someone who had very little outside experience trying to, you know, puff themselves up as, you know, somebody that they weren't, it was kind of laughable. And, you know, like I said, I was, one of the things that I noticed a lot in my writing was I was very passionate about what I was writing about. You know, I was kind of passionate for some of the wrong reasons and stuff like that, but, you know, I did notice that I did have a huge passion for writing. I was very, you know, emotionally invested into what I was writing. Now, <laughs> there's also a bunch of technical stuff, like, I wasn't really a big fan of formatting, you know, like, you know, condensing stuff, you know, putting headlines and all that kind of stuff, which is probably one of the reasons, you know, some of my posts didn't take off like I thought they should have back in the day. You know, was I, I wasn't, you know, gussing it up for everybody. You know, it's just, this is what it is, and here you go. <laughs> you know, I pretty much just, uh, you know, separated by paragraph, but, you know, no, you know, headlines or anything like that, so, Yeah. <laughs> But hey, you live and learn, right? You know, you can only get better if you, you know, keep on doing what you're doing. And that's that's something I tell a lot of people who ask me, you know, like, you know, cuz some people ask me editing questions, especially since I started doing the uh the live streams for editing my videos. And those are going to be coming back soon, by the way, once I get internet all hooked up in my place and all that kind of stuff, but I'm a little tight on money right now, so that might that may have to wait till next month, you know. <laughs> so, but I mean, it is what it is. So, anyway, um, hey, you know, what can I do starting off on YouTube? You know, like what kind of setup I have, what kind of editing rig, and you know what I should, you know, just little technical questions here and there. And 
you know, for me, starting off, like, I had no experience with editing video. Like, my only editing experience at the time I started making videos was uh, just editing audio. And it was... My setup was so janky at the time. It took me forever to even find out what Audacity was. But then again, I think Audacity was released kind of around that time anyway, so, you know. <laughs> but I remember, you know, my very first, like, edited recording that I ever did, you know, on the computer anyway. We're not even getting into tapes and stuff like that. But the first edited uh, audio recording I ever did on the computer was with the old... Uh, Microsoft sound uh, recorder but the thing is it could only record up to 60 seconds at a time I think I think it was like 60 90 seconds something like that so like if a song or whatever would go beyond that there would be you know I'd have it would just cut and you have to like stop the tape okay then hit record you know start the tape up again and uh, just kind of edit out a lot of the pauses in between and uh, I remember editing because uh, my friends had this little uh, thing that they did like a couple sketches and stuff they did on uh, an old cassette tape and an old karaoke machine and uh, it was on tape and I wanted to convert it over to uh, to digital because I wanted to give them like a CD and stuff like that so I remember I had like the cassette tape and I would just like hit hit play, let it do its thing for like 60 or 90 seconds, whatever. And then the Microsoft sound thing would stop, start a new file. And then I, uh, I forget what program I used to, uh, compile all the files together. I, th I think it was, uh, might've been like Roxio or I don't know if I had total video converter at that time. I think it was total video converter actually. But actually, Total Video Converter was also turned out to be my very first uh, editing program <laughs> for uh, for my very very early Andy San videos. Like uh, I think like the first video I was in my guitar solo video because uh, my friend Eric, also known as the Talking Vidalkin, he recorded me in my dorm room back at uh, the old uh, college I went to, Urbana University in, Ur in Urbana, Ohio. Um, so he recorded me doing, like, this guitar solo. It was pretty shit, but, you know. <laughs> like I said, live and learn, right? But anyway, so he recorded me, and he only had, like, a small... Uh, I think he had, like, a small memory card or something like that. Now, keep in mind, this was, uh, like, 2006, 2007. So, you know, <laughs> you could get, like, a 32-gigabyte card for fucking nothing nowadays. But back then, you know... A 256 megabyte, not gigabyte, megabyte, you know, 256 or 512, you know, that was, that was the bee's knees, man. That was like the shit back in the day. But in any event, you could only record so much video on those cards, even back then. So, like, what he would do is he would re only record in, like, uh, little 30-second or 60-second clips. And then what I'd do is I would compile them into Total Video Converter which basically meant, like, little actual editing. It was just me, you know, piecing together a lot of those files. I think, like, what I did, you know, because there was some dead air in between the clips, was I would figure out where the dead air was, like, the second and stuff, and, like, right where I started playing again. And then uh, I would cut out the dead air because, of, like, of how it was done. But it was very, very janky, very... Uh, you know, basic, primitive form of video editing, and that's what I initially used to, to video edit. And it wasn't until uh, Vlog 4 on my Andyson channel that I actually got down to editing, editing. You know, I, I got a copy of uh, Sony Vegas, I think, it was like, I think it was like version 7 or 8 at that time. I think it was version 8 at the time. And, uh... I got that, and, you know, I've been with them ever since. And, uh, speaking of Vegas, actually, Sony Vegas, Vegas, baby, <laughs> um, I've been dinking around with some Adobe programs lately, just because, like, everybody's talking about, oh, Adobe Premiere is, like, the editing for all the professionals use it, and stuff like that, and, uh, I remember dinking around with Premiere, 
which is you know their version of video editing uh, before, and it wasn't it wasn't bad. It was a good program. It just to me it was very similar to Sony Vegas. There was a lot of differences too. It was very similar to me, you know, like to Vegas. And you know, for me it was just like well. Uh, you know, I didn't really see the point in converting over to Premiere because it was basically the same as Vegas. And I'm just like, I'm already familiar with Vegas, you know, why would I convert over? But then I started playing around uh, yesterday, actually, with uh, Adobe Audition because um, I was just kind of looking around and uh, I was looking for like a dynamic converter or dynamic processor for converting audio. Because uh, I know that there are some plugins you can get for Audacity, but they're not, they're not like, not to say that they're not as good, they are, but like you can't um, set up like a graph to nuke certain frequencies and to boost other frequencies and stuff like that, like you can with uh, Adobe Audition, which I got recently. And uh, I've been, just been dinking around with it. And, uh, so, another thing that I'm seriously considering now is, you know, maybe, you know, upgrading my, uh, editing software, my editing rig, as far as, you know, the software end of it goes. The hardware end, I think I'm good for a while, <laughs> you know, I think w maybe once 4K starts becoming more mainstream and the cost for, you know, getting 4K video out and all that, all that in that it entails, <laughs> you know, it comes down in price, then maybe I'll switch over. But until then, you know, 1080p, 60 frames per second, totally fine, totally smooth video for now. So <laughs> in another 10 years, you know, this video even will look like, oh my God, it's so pixely. Why is it flat? The colors look like shit. I can barely understand what he's saying. Oh my God. Because like, you know, sometimes I look back at even my old videos, which I thought were good at the time, you know, the whole set up and everything all considered and I'm just like man the audio is really staticky I'm too close to the camera you know it's too it's pretty much just like a picture of my head and like maybe a little bit of background but again it was camera placement um, the resolution all that kind of stuff but anyway yeah. so I think it'd be kind of neat in another 10 years if YouTube is still around to look back at a lot of those old videos and be like, man, 1080p looked like shit. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. I know I've been rambling on and on, and I'll probably have to tack this little clip onto the end here with uh, the YouTube editor because I don't have uh, any editing rig at all with me at the moment. Um, but who knows, that might change. Wink. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I just want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in to this especially long rambly vlog first video of 2016 Woo. and uh with that said this is the andy san sign up for now thinking you guys poop for tuning into my videos and uh all those stuff and uh hopefully you guys you know can make the migration over to my the andy san channel um if you want to do it early that's cool you know just hit the little subscribe button so that way you won't be out of the loop so yeah, <laughs> also want to thank you guys for liking with the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.